The task list command can be used to monitor start and stop processes at the command line. If I just type task list, it'll show me a list of tasks that are running. Here, you, if we look at the options of task list as compared to the task kill command, you can see that they are very similar. They have the same parameters that they can pass to them, which means I can start task list, figure out what I want to do, and then run task kill to kill my processes. So I'll start several calculator processes here. I'll just run start calc several times, then run task list, and you can see here at the bottom that I've got five instances of calc.exe running. So I'll use the task list command to isolate just those task commands. And I will use the slash fi filter, and then I'll say filter name is equal to calc.exe. Once I have my list, I change task list to task kill, and those five calculator processes are killed. Now if I look at my task list, I can see no calc processes are running. But there's more than one way to do it. You don't have to do it just by name. You can also do it by the process ID. So here I've got three instances of calc running. I can say task list, set a filter, and list only those where the PID, or the process ID number, is equal to 864. So this is going to list the one calculator process where the PID is 864. Now I change my task list to task kill and that process, process list is gone. So to kill the rest of these, I could go through them one at a time, entering in each of the process IDs, but it's much easier if you do it based upon image name. So here, we'll just do the cat task list once again. Um, task list, not T-A-S-T, T-A-S-K list, um, equal to calc. I've got two process running. I want to kill those, change task list to task kill, and there you go, I've killed my processes.